The drive there from Jack Morgan. Montpellier have come offside, so there will be three points if they want them. Beard with a little pop pass. Tipperick was just looking for the offload, trying to find Alex Cuthbert, couldn't find him though. And bursting through is Collins! And has Collins got there? No, he hasn't. Okay, Ryan is offside. Just held up, it's a second penalty. Charleroi getting dragged out of it, and this time the Ospreys think they have got there. So try, happy with try. Well, Craig Maxwell Keys over on the far side, consulted by Carl Dixon, and he says the try was scored. The Ospreys lead. We've been playing 23 minutes. Great build-up from Ospreys there, just showing that physicality. That was the one question we had coming into this game. Who is going to show the most amount of muscle? And Montpellier doing their very best to get in those rucks and trying to shrub things. But somehow, Osprey's getting it back every time. Just literally diving over. I think a blade of the white grass just glimpsed on that ball. He's scored some cracking tries in his time. It's Alex Cuthbert. That's uh, a good deal more of the short-range variety. But who knows, it may prove to be quite invaluable. That uh, ricocheted off Joe on. Hawkins. Referee says there's a knock-on. There goes Vance on Rates. Tipperick holds him up. The Cognier's right on the scene again. Here goes Zach Mercer, straight into Alan Wynne-Jones. Referee says the advantage is over, and Phillips said there's no stopping him from that range. The Man Mountain bludgeons his way through. It's almost guaranteed when he gets the ball three or four metres from the try line and there isn't a wall of bodies in front of him, he is going to score. But you have to say it all came from that kick from the 15, putting him into the right place, forcing Kai Evans to get away a clearance that didn't give them much territory. Look at these blasting through these rucks. Quick rush, lovely offload in play there, back on the inside. Yeah, it's a two old mates, isn't it? Janser van Rensburg and Willem Sir. There goes Zach Mercer. Mercer looks for the offload to Payanga Ramosa. So simple, but so effective. And there's the drive on, it's Willem Sir again, and he thinks he's got there. And Carl Dixon, I think, wants to check this. It's very, very close. Now, what do we make of this? So initially, the Ospreys players are holding it up. For me, that's the double movement there. It's already hit the ground, and then he pushes it forward. Look how wide the eyes were of Alan Wynne Jones. That sort of, I'm in disbelief if you award this look. So what he was looking for there, was it pushed or was it placed? Referee deemed it was placed. The Konya again. Seven on seven with Tipperick. Cooley, Zach Mercer. Burta doing the tackling there, out from Coley. Oh, look at the pace there. That was Lamorsitelli, and then eventually they're getting closer and closer. Morgan's got his hands on it. But it's there for Coley, Lamorsitelli lining up, and it's a penalty which goes against Montpellier. The defence was desperate and scrambling. I think you're on the ball. Well, what is the call there? Well, he appeared to be awarding a penalty there to uh, the Ospreys, but the camera dwelling there on Charleroi. Now, has Charleroi just got here? I think he has. Bastian Charleroi yeah. just getting that down. Dowie Lake, very explosive in the loose. Man and Beard having to reach and stretch for that one uncompromising there from Joe Hawkins there he goes right on cue Dowie Lake 
Collins with the hands. Williams, tipper it, quite brilliant. Cuthbert comes inside, and Alex Cuthbert has got the score. The quality of the handling, quite superb. You know, how often do we talk in rugby about coach killers? Well, that is a coach pleaser. That is straight off the textbook. Lovely bit of organised phase play there. Coming from that line out, nice early release, short carry here, we see it. Centre crashing up, forwards doing their work, working hard around the corner here, fixing players. Keep your eye on Justin Tiprick in the blue cap there. He's not going short, he's that link player, he's the cog in that wheel. And the hard yards being done there were by Dowie Lake. They created almost the momentum with the crash forward and then the hands all the way along the line. Paul Willemson, all just barging off young Joe Hawkins. Here's Beconye getting through the tackle. Tipperick atones for his teammate. Reinick, this is dangerous. Carbonell, great hands. And in the end, it is Thomas Darman who goes in. Two tries the last time. He was this side of La Manche when he scored at London Irish and did it twice. And he's got what may prove to be an absolutely crucial score here in West Wales. Well, it's a bit of a you-go-I-go on the scoreboard at the moment, isn't it? Montpellier certainly have a reaction every time Austria score. And you have to say that was well worked, really patient play. It's the work at the breakdown, that ball retention, and some lovely silky hands there to get the ball to the outside edge. Oh, and that's not forward by Elliot Stuke. Maybe a chance to create something here. Tipperick. That's meant for Keelan Giles. Now, what about the bounce? It's gone well for Keelan Giles. There's a chance here on the inside. Tipperick is after it, and Tipperick has scored. What a try. Keelan Giles, the follow-up from Justin Tipperick. His hands were magnificent. Well, you know it's good when even Toby Booth is smiling. Wow, what a series of play. The skill set on offer. We talk about Justin Tipperick and how good he is and that all-court game, but not even I've seen him do a kick like that before. But equally, Keelan Giles as well on the edge. Let's have a look at it again. He picks it up off the floor. So it's a bad pass to him initially, puts in a lovely kick. Keelan Giles flirting with the sideline, has the awareness to just put it back in field, hoping that there's someone from the Ospreys team flooding through, following up and leading the way was Justin Tiprick. Incredible try. This the Ospreys' 100th game in this competition. What a way it would be to celebrate if they can complete the home and away double against the French champions. But there's a gap that's opened up for Carbonell, and Collins is trying to get across, but Carbonell held up half a metre short. Now, can they get it over the try line? The answer is yes. And it's that man, Corbus Reinach, who's done it. The kick to come. And by the time they've kicked it, they'll have less than eight minutes to go. So this is so vital. So much pressure on this kick, and when you consider Montpellier have gone through three players to try and find someone with a bit of kicking form, but it all came from the fly half there, just slicing through the defensive line. There, that's the first time we've really seen gaps in the Ospreys' defence like that. Maybe a little bit of that fatigue showing through. Oh, he's hooked it, and he's hooked it quite badly. They're going for the score here. It's well orchestrated. They're within a metre or so. Remember, there's the lure of the fourth try and what would surely be the fifth point as well. That will make a difference in the reckoning next week. Right in the thick of things there is Nicky Smith. 
Two and a half or so minutes to go. Dowie Lake is there and the try has been scored. And Justin Tipperick and his mates have got another. And Morgan Morris it is who comes up. And that's a real team effort. And that is the fourth try. The decision to go for the corner is vindicated. And Morgan Morris, who scored in the reverse fixture, has got an also important one here too. Man of the match the last time these two teams played. And could he have more of an impact off the bench? He got that key turnover and then he gets the try to seal the deal. The referee will have his eyes all over there. Oh, he's been stripped as Dowie Lake is Jakuba Camera. Could there yet be a final twist? Kerber Reiner takes play up to the 22. 15 seconds remain. Well grabbed there by Boutier. Here goes Darman. What a finish it is. The Ospreys are appealing for the penalty and they've got it. George North. It's been a cameo. It's been his return. He bears the scars of battle, but that turnover worth every bit as much as a try in the context of this match. The Ospreys have done it. They picked up the full five. They performed the double in their 100th game in the Heineken Champions Cup. They've beaten the French champions by 35 points to 29.